Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Saturday early afternoon episode of Ted's Booze Salad with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Now probably the reason why I'm probably looking a bit haggard is because, well, this heat is playing merry hell on me. Um, I don't even have that thick of a head of hair at the moment anyway because I only got my hair cut recently, but yeah, it's uh, it's absolutely knocked the socks off of me. Uh, so I'm going to try and make this one quick as I can. Um, and today we're taking a look at another couple of the Anton Berg uh, chocolate liqueurs. Uh, here on Ted's Booze Cellar, the most premier alcohol review show here on YouTube. Um, and as you guys will have probably remembered, the uh, Anton Berg uh, chocolatier is one of the oldest chocolatiers in Europe. They uh, were based out of Denmark, I believe they were established in the 1880s from what I remember. And recently my good friend Philip got me a box of chocolate liqueurs where they're shaped like little spirit bottles and each uh, one is basically made out of dark chocolate but filled with a really nice branded uh, spirit or liqueur. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the one that's filled with Jim Bean Bourbon, as you can see there, and then also Cavassier Cognac. Uh, so Jim Bean obviously is pretty much like Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, and then uh, Cavassier uh, is a uh, is a VS Cognac. Cognac. So, I'm quite interested to see what these are like. I've had Jim Bean before, but I've actually never had Courvoisier before, so I can't really provide much initial commentary on it, apart from like my, uh, what, it, or, you know, basically what I've already just said. So, Jim Bean, yeah, let's see. So, they were established, I believe, in about uh, 1795. Um, and what's the ABV of their drink? It's not the strongest, I believe. It's about... Uh, let me see. Why does Wikipedia not show what its ABV is? Um, oh, for goodness sake, hang on, anyway. So Jim Bean ABV is... <sighs> Why can't I find it anywhere? don't want to know the ABV of the beer. Anyway, we'll, um, I, I will say this, I've always liked the design of their packaging, um, and it, I've got to say, the mixture of gold against like almost cream white really suits it here. Uh, so, I'm in, so I'll give that a good solid 9 out of 10. It's a very handsome looking design. Uh, we'll, uh, again, as with the previous episodes, there's no real way of like... Um, kind of doing a smell test, so we're just jumping straight to the taste test. Anyway. Oh, it's 40%. Sorry. Mm. Bottoms up. I'll say this, I do think whiskey goes really nice with you know, dark chocolate, so um, that's such a really good combination. I prefer the way that the famous grouse worked with it though, um, and I remember from last time the Remy Martin, uh, that was a little bit better with the dark chocolate, but still really good, so I'll give that a good solid 7.5 out of 10. It doesn't have that sort of same vanilla -y quality that the uh, Remy Martin uh, has. But it's smooth, It kind of, and that sort of like acidic, sort of like warming the cockles of your heart, sort of burning sensation of Jim Bean really complements the dark chocolate very nicely. So that is good. Good seven and a half. I'd say really, really nice stuff. Now, Covercier. Uh Let's see how this d uh, fares up, because... Um, obviously the Remy Martin was a somewhat uh, champagne based cognac and this is uh, similar in a certain way so I'll be interested to see what this is like and I'll say right now this easily has the best looking packaging out of any of the Antonberg chocolate liqueurs so far so good 10 out of 10 there anyway taste of sucker. Ooh. 
Oh, bam. Ooh, that's strong. Oh, man. That's one of the best tasting alcohols out of the branded alcohols that are featured in this Anton Berg um, chocolate box. But, I don't know. It's funny. That alcohol tastes great, but it doesn't mix really well with the chocolate, I don't think. Um, now, if we're talking about the alcohol on its own, it's like well above an 8.5, possibly reaching for a 9 or a 9.5. It's excellent stuff. But the mix with the chocolate, it's like a seven or a six and a half. It's good, but it's just nowhere near as good as I thought it was going to be, which is really surprising. But that means that it's still lovely. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if we're just talking about the alcohol, it's probably a nine quite easily. But if we're talking about combining it with the chocolate, it's probably like close to a six and a half or seven, maybe. But again, that's not too bad, to be honest. So I'm quite happy I tried these. Um, the Jim Bean, surprisingly, was the winner this time out. So go figure but anyway if you guys liked this video leave a like share and subscribe if you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar let me know in the comments section down below as well as any points you may have agreed or disagreed with in this video if you want to check out any of my social medias I'll leave those uh, links to those in the video description down below and until next time I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Boo Cellar drink responsibly and goodbye